I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We remember this day those who have gone before us here, who labored not for themselves alone, but with a vision of building for the future a world better 
than they had known. Inspire in us also a like vision that we too may labor for things beyond ourselves, that our lives may be dedicated to high purposes and grand horizons. Make us unafraid of hopes and dreams. Release us from cynicism and despair. Teach us, not, teach us to be realistic about our limitations, but never to lose hope in our power to transcend them. Salutations, everyone. I'm Ken Ming Wu, and I am the Weehawken High School Class of 2022 Salutatorian. To start, I would like to thank my fellow classmates, parents, family members, friends, teachers, counselors, administrators, and the Honorable Mary Turner for being here, along with anyone else who might be here today, tomorrow, or even the next day. Looking back at the past four years, I'm proud to say that our class has accomplished many things that haven't been done in a long time, and I'm not just saying that to say that. For example, the boys' soccer team won the league for the first time in 20 years. The girls' softball team became state champs. And, most importantly, all of us are here to graduate today. There's a reason for this, and that reason is because in Weehawken, we are a family. I've experienced this firsthand, as the moment I graduated the eighth grade, I was thrown into possibly my favorite family, sorry mom and dad, which was my soccer team. Being my first sport as a freshman, I had no clue what I was getting into. The soccer team was extremely close, but since they were older than me, they barely knew your name. In a dire time where it looked like only a few people would make it out of the drill still running, the team banded together, allowing us to go past our limits. But this experience wasn't exclusive to the soccer team. You may not have endured an Indian run, but I know you faced an obstacle that was hard to overcome by yourself, whether it was an exercise, a test, or really anything. I also know that someone, like the incredibly helpful students and staff here at Weehawken High School, was there to be your ally, to be there for you, to help you overcome whatever was thrown your way. How do I know this? Because our class has done so much, and at least for my part, I know I couldn't have done it alone. So as we look to the future, remember that there may not be an I in team, but there is a we in Weehawken. And as Cristiano Ronaldo says, Muchas gracias, afición. Esto es para vosotros. So, I don't, I don't speak Spanish, so I don't know what he means by that. But what I do know is that our achievements over the past four years have shown one thing, which is that no matter co what comes our way, we ready, we ready, we ready. Thank you. Thank you. I want to be completely honest with the audience here today. When I was first told that I was valedictorian and that I'd have the opportunity to address my graduating class tonight, I had absolutely no idea what to talk about. And if you don't believe me, you can ask Ken Ming because he received a good 100 frantic text messages from me these past few weeks. So when I was in the process of brainstorming this speech, I did what so many of us did in high school and just looked it up. And of course, I came across videos from previous valedictory speeches and other helpful materials, but what caught my eye the most weren't those, but the extensive lists of cliches to avoid in graduation speeches. I learned to avoid references to The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost because it's so popular among high school grads. And I also learned that you should never say you are the future to read a work of our choice. And I chose the Aeneid. It's the story of a selfless hero who's been chosen by the gods to look for a Trojan homeland. And suddenly out of nowhere, this once in a lifetime opportunity goes awry. Responsibility makes Aeneas unhappy. He abandons his original goal by distracting himself with short-term pleasures, and he completely ignores those around him. For a fleeting moment, Aeneas finds himself at rock bottom, and then suddenly he perseveres. He perseveres even when responsibility makes him unhappy, and the poem ends with him founding the city of Rome. Like Aeneas, we wanted to give up when times get rough, when work began to pile up, when online learning became too inconvenient. And we take for granted the opportunities that we've been given. As we now go on our separate ways, I ask you all to reclaim cliches, especially the cliche, you are the future. I ask you to be your own personal Aeneas 
and to remember that your actions determine the future, because ultimately you are the future. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. I thought I'd speak when I give out a few awards later, but, also, but, but Robbie gave me the opportunity to speak now. Can you ever find a better location of a graduation than here? It's a magnificent location. It's our third year. We started in 2000, uh, 2020 when COVID first broke out and you couldn't be together and you had to be six, uh, six feet apart. And this is the third year and the every senior class votes to have it on the waterfront again. And uh, township manager and the council and the board of ed and the superintendent all sweat out the weather because we couldn't fit all of you in the auditorium. So it's a great night and it's a pleasure to be here representing the township council. This is an, a very exciting time in your lives as you all know. You're a great class. Every class I come to has been a great class. This is my 31st great class. I look forward to I met three, three ladies tonight who graduated in 1991 and they're here for this one. And that was my first year of doing a uh, graduation ceremony. So tonight you're gonna go to American Dream. We started this many, many years ago, going out on graduation night, project graduation, because as you all know, my generation got in trouble on graduation night and people get injured and we went out and did things that you really can't do today. So we take you away, we take all your students away, we take them to American Dream, we feed them, they have a great time, we bring them back three, four o'clock in the morning, safe and sound. So I wanna thank our township manager, Giovanni Ahmad, who worked very hard in setting this up. So it's a great opportunity, and again, as, as Charlie said, this is, this, you'll go your separate ways from this point on. Tonight will be the last night the good thing is you're going to have a great time, great time. Last night you'll all be together. So hang out with your friends, enjoy each other. Life goes on, the world awaits you, and we're very, very proud of all of you. Thank you all. We all remember when these wonderful young men and women were born. The moment of excitement when you first hear that howl and the doctor picks them up to show you your child for the first time. You remember the first time they hand you that wrapped up little bundle of joy and put it into, you, into your arms and your house and the arms of your spouse. And you stare into those beautiful baby eyes for the first time. And you think, wow, what will you do? You dream of them being a doctor, a lawyer, pro athlete, a famous movie star, anything and everything. As you cradle them in your arms and you give them that first loving kiss and embrace and cry. <clears throat> You picture their whole lives. You see them taking their first steps, hearing the first words, throwing a ball for the first time, singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, in school, getting married, in Venice on the canals, on a beach in Maui, skiing in Aspen. You see everything. And it's all so perfect. Graduates. <clears throat> this is the first group I had as vice principal. So they have special meaning to me. <clears throat> they become part of our lives. We watch them grow from precocious seventh and eighth graders to immature ninth and tenth graders to nervous juniors and now seniors. The journey has been filled with laughter and tears, pandemic and quarantine, online school and virtual awards dinners and so on. But now our journey together is over. Today we return your children to continue the journey without us. No longer children, but adults ready to take on the world. We return them to you to love and cherish them always. This is your moment too. This is your time. Our time together is now complete. The next chapter in their lives begins. I wish you all good luck. And always remember, <clears throat> we all in high school will forever be your home should you need us again. Thank you. Mr. Crespo. I appreciate that. 
I certify that the class of 2022 has met the requirements of the New Jersey Department of Education and have qualified for graduation. I proudly present them to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Furlow. So um, real quick before I begin, um, I have to thank outstanding teachers of the Weehawken School District whose dedication um, has made this an exciting milestone in your life, and it made it possible. I'm also grateful for the leadership of the Weehawken School Board, our hard, hard work and district staff who together guide the district always with you in mind. The administration that always puts students' needs ahead of everything else. Um, thank you to Mayor Turner, the town council, and all the township employees, DPW, Weehawken PD, who has given so much support to our district. I'm honored to be here tonight and to serve you and the community. And before I go on, you know, they did a great job, all the people I just mentioned, you know, setting up tonight. But honestly, they do a great job from when you were in pre-K to now. So they really go above and beyond any other organizations, any other um, town affiliates that I've ever seen. So thank you. You take the risk. Are you ready to take the risks and think differently than everyone else, regardless of the outcomes? There was a time when Steve Jobs was laughed at when he said he was gonna change the world with computing and internet. We know how that worked out. Everyone needs to take risks in life. If not, we live in regret. If not, we think about what could have been, and that's not what people from Weehawk can do. The risks you take, the people you meet, the people you love, it was going to define you more than any success or money. I have learned that nothing is more important than taking risks. When you take a risk, you've lived a full life. Denzel Washington once said, you have never seen a U-Haul behind a hearse. Those that know history know that Egyptians tried it in tombs that were built. Unfortunately, those tombs were robbed. You know what cannot be robbed, it's your legacy. What you leave behind the people you impact along the way. As you continue through your journey of life, make sure others eat first, and you will eat more than you ever imagined. If you are loyal to people, you will always have family, and I'm not talking about the blood relatives. Please go out into the world and give more than you take, and you will accomplish more than your goals. Once you have set those dreams and accomplished those dreams, next thing you do, pull someone else up with you. Please use your gifts and take risks. Now, I welcome back Mr. Ferullo for the moment you've all been waiting for, a well-deserved graduation. And now the moment you've been waiting for, the presentation of diplomas. Randy Abreu. <laughs> Sophia Alvarado. Aiden Alves, Derek Zuniga, Nicole Bamberger, Anthony Bajorquez, Tatiana Bonilla, Brissetti Caballero, Nadia Cabrera, Nala Calabrese, Kevin Carpio. Focus. Aixa Caschete, Charlie Castillo, Michelle Castro, Jacqueline Chacho, Ethan Collin, Noah Coyle, Gabriella Crawford, Atia Daste, Jaden De Leon Santos, Thomas Durden and David Durango.
Adrian Durazno. Georgie Efremov. Renee Figueroa. Joseph Fiorenza. Zane Fortson. Ciara Guardia. Omar Gia. Ethan Hablitz. Jalen Halet. Shayna Hill. And Maggie Jacobs. Yes, you did. Ethan did it. <laughs> Janaya Jones. Kenyon Jones. Yeet Kilich. Costa Kotas. Valerie Kratt. Melissa Landaro. Juan Jose Liberato. Angel Lopez. Emmanuel Lopez Palma. Angeles Luque. Eileen Macias. Ignacio Malave. Rianne Fay Marquez. Isaiah Marrero. Jailene Martinez. Ladelise Martinez. Sarah Matos. Viviana Mendez. Olivia Mitchell Reindorf. And Angelina Morales. Jasmine Morales, Laura Morales, Stefania Munoz, Naya Navarro, Sasha Nodin, Giovanna Nataro, Alion Ortiz, Melanie Pachacama, Melina Pareles Ojeda, Freddie Phillips, Adriana Pinedo, Maximo Poggi. Alexander Popel. Farah Rafiq. Carlos Ramirez. Cherlin Reyes Rivera. Onel Reyes Rivera. Michael Rivera. Anthony Rodriguez Lopez. Luke Rogers, 
Christopher Romero. Araya Romo. Joel Rosado. Joseph Revito. Isabella Royero. Jahira Russo. Heidi Saradeth Rivera. Evan Serrano. David Simonetti. Mary Sculler, Oliver Sculler, It's, it's okay. Brielle Smith. John Smith Cruz. Brianna Stratton. Sarah Torbell. Judah Taylor. Tenley Tejral. Trenry Tejral. Joshua Tombi Navarro. Morgan Tomlinson. And Matthew Torres. Nora Walid, Gianni Wallace, Dimitri Wilder, Sydney Williams, Ken Ming Wu, Addison Zhu, Vidal Caraballo, Kevin Pomakiza. Sophia Mendez. Santiago Mesa Botero. I would also like to acknowledge the following graduate who could not be here tonight, Daniela Uriena. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you the Weehawken High School graduating class of 2022. Congratulations. <laughs> 